This amateur video shot by dissidents in Syria shows tanks and other vehicles rumbling through the streets on a day when government troops crushed rebel resistance just outside Damascus. Fighting so close to Syria's capital is a dangerous development for the Assad regime. The brutality and of now the, the UN Security Council has begun to take up an Arab League proposal calling on Syria's president to stop the violence and to give up power. It is time for the international community to put aside our own differences and send a clear message of support to the people of Syria. We should unite behind the Arab League plan, and that is what I all urge all members of the Council to do this week. But Russia has signaled it would veto any UN action against Damascus, fearing it could open the door to future military action against the regime by the international community. However, the Arab League says that won't happen, and Russia has agreed to negotiate on the draft. We have to be careful in that we need to, uh, to, uh, uh, to move this process ahead in a very deliberate, determined, but, but careful way. Violence was also reported in central Syria Tuesday. Since Monday, the death toll is believed to be well over 100. Several weeks ago, the UN estimated that more than 5,400 people have been killed since the government crackdown began. Ross Simpson, The Associated Press.